Oh man, Kabaddi episode 4 really just jumped the shark. Okay, now there are sports animes that stick to reality like Haikyuu, which are the type of sports animes I like to watch. And there are ones that mix in fantasy elements that I really don't want to watch. Because when I want to watch fantasy anime, I watch fantasy anime. When I watch sports anime, I want something like Haikyuu where the players have to utilize real-life improvements in their skills and abilities. And yes, they can have really crazy natural talents that allow them to pull off moves that no one else can pull off. But what the captain did in episode 4 where he like hid his aura or had no scent. He didn't have a scent. Like you, the, he, he, he couldn't smell the captain. He wasn't able to see him and he didn't react at all. Both of them, both players were just like did they just watch as the captain came up, touched him, and walked away without even, like, running? Like, that's, that's, like, from fantasy, you know? That's just from fantasy anime, where he was able to hide his aura and just casually come up, touch, touch him, and just walk away. That makes the anime really boring, because if they're ever in a pinch, then one of the players can pull out some magical move out of nowhere... Instead of having to think of a way to use, you know, real life skills or strategies or tactics in order to overcome a challenge, they can just like, oh, I'm going to hide my aura or I'm going to use this magical ability I just developed out of nowhere that's superhuman to overcome the problem. And that's really boring. It just, it just makes it way too easy for them to overcome problems and... It's Jumping the Shark. If you don't know what Jumping the Shark is, look it up. Um, it's when a, a uh, show does something so absurd that it loses its sense of reality and just takes you out of the show and where you're like, what the F? Anyway, it's very disappointing. I really was enjoying this anime. I hope that they steer away from this fan- these fantasy elements in the future and stick to maintaining the high Q sort of route where they don't mix in magic and like this sort of you know magical power esque sort of stuff into the show and keep it grounded in reality so that the author has to figure out you know proper strategies tactics and methods in order for their players to overcome great odds and can't just use you know do sex machina oh my god I've learned this powerful skill where I can you know become invisible for like three seconds by holding my breath or something. You know, stuff like that where it's just like why am I even watching this is way too it's just like I can't care about the characters if they can just pull stuff out of their rear ends like that in order to win matches and stuff like that so anyway that's my thoughts on Kabaddi episode 4 they jumped the shark hopefully they won't do it again I haven't finished the episode yet I'll keep watching and Man, I was really enjoying this. It was really interesting. It was really different. It hasn't been getting as as much attention as it should have. It could be the next high IQ if done right, but if they mess it up and keep doing crap like this, it's not going to be the next high IQ. Or it, not that it'll be as popular as high IQ, but it could become over time really, really popular and a niche uh, anime. But the way it's gone now, I'm kind of not seeing that. <laughs>